Brothers and sisters, this is your host, the Apostle Reuben, with another short Bible lesson. In this 10-minute lesson, I'm going to teach you who your neighbor is. You black so-called Christians who want to join hand in hand with Edom, go ahead. But don't leave comments because we teach the Bible. We know what we're talking about because we read the precepts. Pay attention. Leviticus 19.17 Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt not in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and, and not suffer sin upon him. So your brother was your neighbor. That's one time. Let's drop down. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. That's your own people. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am the Lord. Your neighbor is your own people. Now, brothers and sisters, some blacks are ashamed of their own. That's why they leave comments about, oh, you're about racism. Oh, you're about this. You're about that. That's why they leave it. We love our people. They don't. I want you to pay attention. Let's continue in this. Let's go to the time of Saul. This is 1 Samuel 15, verse 23. Now, God gave Saul instructions to kill all the Amalekites and whatever they had. And Saul didn't do it. So let's pick, let's, let's pick it up in verse 23. For rebellion is as a sin, as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry, because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. He hath also rejected thee from being king. Ah, a price to pay. Well, let's go to the verse I want to go to, verse 28. And Samuel said unto him, Saul, the Lord hath rent the kingdom of Israel from thee this day and has given it to a neighbor of thine. Who is this neighbor of Saul? David. Your own people is your brethren and your neighbor. Your own people is your neighbor. That is better than thou. I want you to understand something, though. But you Christians, you black Christians, I'm going to tell you about yourselves. Proverbs 11. Proverbs 11, verse 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished, but the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. See, though you join hand in hand, like the Pharisee joined hand in hand with Rome, the Caucasian forefathers, it's not going to help you in the time of need. You need to learn how to love your people. Let's go to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 31, Jeremiah 31, verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Ah, Israel, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. For this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my law in their inward parts, and I will write it in their hearts, and will be their God, and they shall be my people. Here's where I want to go. Here's the bombshell. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. Who neighbor? I will make a covenant with the house of Israel. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor. Your neighbor is your own people. Text proof. And every man his brother. Your brother is your own people. Text proof. Saying, know the Lord, for they shall all know me. From least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity, not all nations' iniquity. And I will remember their sin no more. Your neighbor is of your own people. I'm sorry, you Christians that bojangle in church. You can think what you want, but you can't change God's mind. This, 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 why, this is what we like about the Bible. Malachi 3, verse 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. The Lord does not change, and I'm about to prove it to you. But first, let's get the book of Mark, chapter 8. 
verse 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words. Now look at that. The reason why I read this to you, let me let me get you another verse, brothers and sisters, because I want you to read with me here. This is how important this is. Because these these Christians bojangling in church, they're never going to learn nothing. They're not going to learn anything. It wasn't designed for you to learn nothing. Psalm 68, verse 11. The Lord gave the word. The word we are reading, the Lord gave. He speaks of your neighbor being your own brother. We're not just reading our own writings. The Lord said this, but you're ashamed of it. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. So the Lord gave the word and we're publishing what he gave. Pay attention now. I want to take you here. The book of Mark 8, 38. Whosoever therefore shall be ashamed of me and my words and this adulterous and sinful generation, of him also shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he cometh in, when he cometh in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. If you're ashamed of Christ's words, and him. Because when we say Christ is black, you're ashamed of that. I don't think color matters. I don't think... See, you're ashamed of Christ and his words. You Christians are ashamed. You black Christians are ashamed of Christ and his word. Just admit that. You don't have to leave comments. Pay attention now. Mark 12, 29. And the Messiah answered him, the first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel. So he's talking to Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. Who is your neighbor? Who is the law directed to? Verse 29. The first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel. So he's talking to Israel because that's who received the law. The Lord our God is one Lord. Back up to verse 31. The second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor. So your neighbor is your people. Christ even confirmed it. Like Leviticus 19, 17, and 18 says, it never changed. But the Christians do this. I promise you, those that are ashamed of him and his words, they do this. Luke 10, 29, but he willing to justify himself said unto the Messiah, who is my neighbor? This is where these black Christians like to go. Who is my neighbor? This is what we, this is what we're saying. I'm going to drop down verse 33, but a certain Samaritan, ah, a Gentile is my neighbor. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean a Gentile is his neighbor. He said a certain Samaritan. Now let's go to John chapter four, John chapter four. John chapter 4 and verse 9. Then saith the, the woman of Samaria unto him, How is it that thou being a Jew ask drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? For the Jews have no dealings with the Samaritans. But I want you to pay attention. Verse 12. Art thou greater than our father Jacob, which gave us this well? Wait a minute. Our father Jacob, which gave us this well? Something's wrong with this picture, brothers and sisters. Because, see, I see this, and I go back to 2 Chronicles, which the, which the Christians avoid. 2 Chronicles 30, verse 6. So the post went with letters, excuse me, so the post went with the letters from the king and his princes throughout all Israel and Judah, according to the commandment of the king, saying, You children of Israel, turn again unto the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, and he will return to the remnant of you that are escaped out of the hand of the kings of Assyria. This woman was an Israelite. A lot of Israelites escaped the king of Assyria. Because they try to say this woman was one of the women that the king of Assyria put in the land. No. That's why it says in verse 12, John, let's go back to John, John 4 and 12, art thou greater than thy, our father Jacob, because this woman was an Israelite, that Samaritan doesn't mean it was another nation, the Samaritan means that it was an uncircumcised northern kingdom Israelites, those of the uncircumcision, stop listening to these Christians, stop listening. 